Hello, um, today I'm going to be showing you my Verizon Fios installation, show you what goes into it, and what you need to know if you plan on getting it yourself. What you're looking at right now is the ONT, this is the optical network terminal, it's the heart of the system. Let's look inside here. You have status lights, TV cable, phone lines, internet data cable, power cord down here, goes to an outlet. It's a brand new outlet, dedicated circuit, right over the panel, put it in myself, the day before the installation. Up here is a battery. What that does is it powers your phone lines if your power goes out, because under Fios, you're not getting any power coming over your phone lines because they go through here. This needs power. Uh, this cable right here, this is the optical cable. That's how the service comes in. Up here, that's phone and cable lines. Cable splitter here. The One of the white wires goes out to the an, a three-way splitter outside. That splits it out to the cable boxes. The other one goes to the router. And then back here on the wall, it's a data line right there, the gray one. All right, close this up. And coming over here. Now this is all the phones, kind of a mess. That right there, line with the uh, with the orange and blue pairs, that's the Cat5 line where the phone wiring comes from the ONT. And then if this all splits it out to the jacks, kind of a mess I know. Over here, these are the old copper phone lines not being used anymore. And then right there, there's that optical, optical cable again. Then coming over here, this is that same data line. And here, this is my main network switch. It's not part of the Fios installation. So you got about half of it active. And then here, this is the Fios router. And you can see coming down here, it has a coax cable connection and ethernet connections. This one here, the white one, goes to the ONT. And then one on the left goes to the switch, the one on the right, down to this server here. Um, normally, there would not be an Ethernet cable going from this to the ONT. It'll just um, use the coax cable using what's called MOCA, multimedia over coax. But I pre-wired the Ethernet cable myself that runs from here to the ONT. You'll have to pre-wire it if you want it to run over that because normally they just run it over the coax line. The reason that the router needs the coax line installed, even if you have the data coming over through the um, Cat5, is that that is how the cable boxes connect to the internet. And uh, that's how they get their video on demand and how they get their guide information. So if this router was to break, or whatever, I could use my own router because the data is coming in through Ethernet, but the cable boxes would not be able to get the get their guide information or video on demand. They have to use that's why I have to use this router, the actual FiOS router. This is wall mounted. It's down here next to the switch. Normally this will be next to, you, to your main computer. Um, I just like to have all my network infrastructure in one place. So main things to keep in mind is that to, to get FiOS. Uh, your phone service is tied into the system. It's the best way to do it, but in the case of power outage, you only have about eight hours before your phones will go out, because that's how long the battery lasts. Also, wherever your ONT is going to be, it can be inside or outside. There has to be an outlet close to it. I put one in myself, so, uh, but, you know, not everyone. I, I wouldn't recommend that for just anyone, and electricians are expensive. Um, overall the service is great. Triple play, which is what I have. Phone, internet, and TV. That's the best deal by far. Previously I was paying about 205 a month for phone from Verizon and um, TV and internet from Comcast. And for Fios I'm paying 153 a month for the first year, 170 a month after that. And this is with the fastest internet, most channels, plus the premium movie channels and the regular phone service. Um, internet speed, I get about 42 megabits download, about 30 upload. 
TV service is great. The interface on the cable boxes is much nicer than Comcast's. Uh, the, the channel numbers make a lot more sense. The HD channel is just 500 more than the SD channel for, for anything. It's very easy to remember. The remotes are nice. It's a very, very good system. Strongly recommend it for anyone looking to uh, change your internet service if you're not satisfied with what you have. It's the best that's out there.